Hi, I'm Ellie Ang, and I am the owner and creator of Danger in Design. Today, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks on how to get started on your Etsy journey or selling your stuff online in Etsy. I've been in Etsy since 2017 because at that time, that was like the biggest e-commerce sites for makers and creators. I think the benefits of having an Etsy is that it's a huge marketplace. Just like a physical marketplace, people can come by. You get exposed in Etsy more than having your own website. So in order to start your Etsy shop, you got to make your account. Making a shop in Etsy doesn't cost anything until you start putting up your products. Well, before you start doing that, you have to be ready with your branding, your shop name. So that includes a banner. And then I have my shop image and then my logo. You also need your brand. Also a description of your shop. You got to be prepared with photos of your listing. So make sure that your photos are clear. They're showing your product in the best kind of way. You also need to, you know, how to tag your products accordingly. These are my listings. I have a lot of listings. Currently, my shop is in USB, but you can change it to peso. And then as you can see, I use a lot of photos and I use a lot of colors. That's the aesthetic of my brand. I think people like it when the products are clear. They can see it in the picture. With online store, give them as many angles of your products as you can. With Etsy, they just want a clear picture of what you're giving them. So I give them options of pictures. I put them in different colored backgrounds. I put them together. I put them with the packaging card. If it's a normal pin, there's like six pictures. But for pins that open, I have a video. Because now in Etsy, you can put a video on it. And people like it because they're seeing what's happening. So as long as you have a clear picture, it doesn't have to be be like a fancy flat lay as long as the product is clear it's not blurry people can see the details then people will notice it for finance for fees and stuff like that the very main thing you have to remember is you have to balance your shipping and your price because even though the cost of my shipping to international is only 180 pesos, that is not 180 pesos going to the US. That's usually 214 or 337. So the rest of the price is always within the price itself, except for domestic. Domestic is because you're already paying for the correct shipping. For international, I always balance out the shipping fee and the product price because Etsy takes percentage from both. So you have to remember that you don't want to lose money. And the main thing I consider when pricing my stuff is that I first check the market. I compare my prices and think, are my pins or my products worth more than this or worth the same? What I do, my trade sick is my trade secret. Even though it got delivered, it says delivered, I'm like, hey, did you get your order? I don't need to know if they got their order. I know they got their order. But with that message, I don't even tell them to review. And they're like, oh yeah, I got it. And then their their idea is like, oh my God, they really checked up on me. I'm gonna send them a review. That's why I have a lot of reviews. I would get reviews like, Ellie really made sure it got to me she was clear with the information answered all my questions <laughs> for those having a hard time starting in international if you're already started that's good uh for me what worked was when i still had three pins it was slow but when i started putting out more pins i think also etsy said this when you have more items in your shop people would go there more when i got more stuff in my shop more people came uh I get notification people like my stuff, they want to buy it. I have a lot of orders from people who don't even follow me on Instagram. They're just there in the marketplace. So I think you have to remember to tag your products properly, make clear, concise photos, put description if you want. I usually put the size. It's not like they read it, but I put the size anyway. They like it if you put put cute stuff on your your packaging i put my dogs because i have a stamp of my dogs four of them i got it made by a local artist um and i put it on my mailer and they're like oh my god the packaging is so cute 
Uh, I know a couple of local makers who have their own websites already, but that's because they've already been online for a while. So if you're starting, Etsy is a good place to start internationally because you don't have to worry about UK and EU, European Union. Etsy will shoulder those codes for you and you only have to follow whatever Etsy say. I really believe that our artists has the ability to sell internationally. And I know it's scary. It's scary to deal with the post office. You don't want to deal with the post office, but it doesn't have to be just the Philippines. And if you still haven't started your online shop, starting local is always good. You can start selling in Shopee or you can maybe email common room. Maybe they have a space for you. Um, it's okay to be scared. It's normal. Whenever I put new stuff, I'm always scared. But I swear, if you start, somebody's going to buy it. For sure, 100%. Remember that there's a market for you. You just have to do it. You just have to keep going, uh, even if it's scary. Open an international shop, or if you're already an international shop, don't get discouraged by slow-moving items. Don't worry about things you can't control, but put your energy and your effort on things you can control. You can't control the orders, but you can improve on your things. You can produce more things. I really think that really would help your shop. I hope it inspires you to keep continuing because I know there's a lot of amazing artists out there. Don't be discouraged. We are all in this together. And I hope to see you in Instagram. <laughs> and I hope to see more of your work. Hey.